Hello and welcome back to the Imminent Christmas Advent Calendar. It is day five uh, and the first Monday of December in 2022. So that's a, it's not really a fun fact because it's just a regular fact. Uh, and as usual, we are going to get straight into it. So we have the Pokemon calendar here. Uh, I don't know if I've gone through the art, but I'm a really big fan of it. Uh, so we are day five. So day four yesterday was the... Um, Disappointing promo. Uh, I'll leave it at that. I think I've gone on enough about the state of the promos, uh, unfortunately, in this calendar. Whilst I do like the cards, the condition is not ideal. Oh, I think we've got another pack today. That is very nice. Uh, it, oh, it's Fusion Strike. Very cool. So, Fusion Strike is a set I have not opened very many cards from. Uh, it's also huge. I'm pretty certain there's about 300 cards in this set, so there is a decent chance whatever I pull I've probably never seen before, or I'll have particularly bad luck and end up pulling a card I do already have. I suppose it's one or the other, really, isn't it? I'm going to say electric energy. Oh, no, it is steel. All right. Well, let's begin. We have Lapras. I don't think I've seen that before. Hey, Galarian Perserker. Ooh, very nice. That's a uh, that, that's a very nice energy, actually. That's yeah. Uh, right. Next up, we have a Tortodile. A Phantom. Okay, these are looking more familiar. I mean, the commons are always going to be kind of familiar. We've got Snorlax. Hey, Snom. Everybody's favourite. Uh, Snow Caterpillar. I guess it's a Caterpillar. What is Snom? I guess it's kind of a Caterpillar, isn't it? Uh, we have a Dreepy, very cute, uh, it is technically dead. Ooh, the reverse is an Electrode, always happy to see that. Uh, yeah, I like Electrode, he's very angry. Can we pull some heat? Uh, this sort of, I suppose. Uh, we have Deoxys, who is kind of cool. Um, he is a hollow, also I do like, so... For the brief, like, period, we did have the, like, single strike and rapid strike thing. And I do like that this Deoxys is all three, including Fusion. That is... That is a nice piece of art. I do, however... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've pulled this card. Uh, so while it is a cool pull and everything, I'm pretty sure I've somehow managed to pull a double in Fusion Strike. A set that is notorious for having hundreds of cards. Uh, right, well, that was that was a nice that was a nice start to it and a nice fifth day thing. And I'll move this to the side now and we'll get into the two random packs. Alright, it is time to rummage once again into this almost bottomless pit of cards. So our first uh, our first dip in today is the charity Yu-Gi-Oh pack. As I mentioned, it's from my local uh, card shop, so you know, the, these may not be things that yours does. But, I mean, I, I think it's a pretty cool idea. Uh, right, let's get through these. Uh, as, as I've said before, I don't really recognise a lot of these, but we'll still go through them. Adamancipator Lupitite. I think that's how you pronounce it. I have no way of knowing if that is correct. Ooh, Nine Lives Cat. Hey, it's an Xyz monster. So I do know about Xyz cards, because I did watch most of Zexel, uh, the anime. We've got Battle Survivor. He does look like he's been through some stuff. We've got Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon. That... Okay, yeah, yeah that, that seems a little bit moot. Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon, the Cursed Cursed Dragon. We've got Flourishing Frolic. Ah, oh, that's very cute. She looks like she's enjoying your frolic. Uh, we have Red Familiar, very cool, he looks like a magic dude. We've got Transicidia, Transicada, sorry, Transicada, that really, I, I could tell it said uh, Cicada there, but I, my brain just didn't work. Transicada, it is a Cicada that's like transmuted into something metal, I guess. We've got a Melfi Puppy, that is adorable. That is absolutely... That shouldn't be in a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Good lord, that is very, very cute. Uh, nice. That, 
<laughs> that kind of caught me off guard. Uh, we have uh, Prifiness, the Tactical Trapper. Cool. He, he looks very cool, like very edgy. Uh, ooh, and I believe our rare, so this is a regular rare, I think, because it's just gold. And that is Draytron Gamma Eltanin. Man, the names on some of these Yu-Gi-Oh cards are wild. I... I don't, I don't know the meaning of any of those things, and I think two of them are probably made-up words. Uh, right, so, our last mystery pack of the day. Sorry, I moved the camera there. What will it be? I'm delving deep. I'm grabbing... Oh, it is a Pokemon pack. It is Lost, uh, lost Origin, not Lost Origin. I think this might be the first video uh, of the Advent Cardinder where I've opened two Pokemon packs. Uh, so, can we can we make up for the Hollow Deoxys? Not that it was a bad pull, necessarily. You know, Hollow cards aren't bad. Back in my day, when I was growing up, a Hollow card was considered an incredible pull. And I still like Hollows. It's just, with the advent of Vs and Vmaxes and Secret Rares and all that jazz, it's, uh, it does somewhat lessen the excitement, but, you know... I still appreciate it. even if it's a rare card. I'm going to say water. I was wrong. All right, then. Hey, we've got Dottler, the psychic bug dude. Ooh. Panic mask. That looks like a very, like, safe, cutesy version of the Scream mask from the Scream movies. Which I guess is what they're going for, maybe? We've got a ride on. Ha-ha! we got Phalanx! Look at those six boys. Uh, oh, girls. Actually, Phalanx is genderless in the game, uh, so they're, they're neither, I guess, or both, or... I don't know. Uh, we've got Poliwag on a beach. He's looking a bit sad. He's looking very sad for some reason. We've got Oddish. Uh, he just looks content. You know, he's he's pretty happy. Hey, we've got Hisoian Growlithe from the Pokemon Legends game. We've got a Clay Sea Dot. That is very cute. Ooh, we got a trainer gallery. Okay, we've got Roserade and I can't remember her name. Gardenia. Gardenia, right? That's her name, the gym leader. She's the grass gym leader from, I want to say, Diamond and Pearl, but I could be wrong. That's really nice. Okay, this is more than made up for it. Um, I forgot you could get trainer gallery things here. Man, we, we've done pretty well with Pokemon packs these last few days. Can we end it on, like, incredible luck? Not really. We've got... Landorus. I don't know. He's not a hollow. I mean, I don't have Landorus. He's pretty cool. I do like the genies. Um, it's kind of cool to see Landorus in his non-Therian form as well, because he does have a second form that is used a lot in competitive, or it was back in the day. Well, those have been some pretty nice pulls today. I think we've uh, we've definitely beat the odds in terms of getting a hollow and a trainer gallery out of two packs. Um, yeah, that about wraps it up. Also, shout out to Mark's niece, who I've been informed sometimes watches these videos. Uh, you have a patrician taste in YouTubers. Uh, so, I will be back tomorrow for day six of December uh, 2022. Until then, goodbye.